And thanks for joining us. State lawmakers introduced new legislation today that they say will remove barriers for those seeking unemployment insurance. Amy Reed is live downtown to explain why those behind the bill say this will speed up the current process. This legislation aims to undo some of the reforms that Republicans put into place when they had full control of the government. Democrats say that's what's standing in the way of some people getting paid. We're all a little frustrated and, and all of our offices are doing all they can to um, advocate for our constituents. Like all state legislators right now, Senator Jeff Smith is hearing from dozens of people frustrated with unemployment insurance. A backlog in adjudicating claims at the Department of Workforce Development has led to about 140,000 people still waiting to be paid any benefits. Democrats think the package of eight bills they introduced today will help, like one that gets rid of a law barring people who collect Social Security disability insurance from also collecting unemployment. Smith said one of his constituents who is blind is dealing with that since she got laid off from her supplemental job. So now all of a sudden from, from having that income, she can't, she can't pay the bills that she was paying before. She's not able to make rent just like anyone else. But we have a law in place that says if you collect SSDI, you can't collect unemployment. We need to fix that. The assembly majority leader said Democrats are just feeling the heat from an Evers administration failure, saying the tired proposals trotted out today would only serve to expand eligibility to an already strained system and fuel the flames of the problem at hand. Republicans have come up with their own plan using CARES Act money for zero interest loans. The governor has questioned it would be any faster. Today, his administration authorized retraining 100 more state employees to fill in at the unemployment insurance office. The news also comes as new numbers on the state's unemployment rate show a three and a half percentage point drop from May to June. The latest data showing our unemployment rate now sits at eight and a half percent. We reached out to DWD to see how much these bills would help the current situation as there is disagreement between Republicans and Democrats on that, but we didn't hear back. If you want to see a breakdown of all eight of these bills, we have that for you over on channel3000.com. Amy, thank you.